name is Glee, and welcome to Jacket. Let me just... Okay, so lips, watches. These are, like, things to review. Seriously, I still have. So we're going to be doing Makeup Monsters. Now you can see, I did a lot of swatches to see which lipsticks were better. Um, Jeffree Star Makeup Monsters or, um, Beauty Bakery. 2 one, one didn't survive. You can watch that video. Uh, the three I got because I had so much red and I already have my basic red. This is my first nude color. Makeup Monsters is a vegan company, all vegan companies. It's like, if it's, it's you might as well start with if it's not vegan or something because every, every lip is. I forgot what I was saying. It's vegan, it's nice. Let's start swatching. So, we're gonna start with the lightest which is Sedona. Um, it's not the darkest nude, it was like in the middle nude. That's why I picked it. Um, out of all the other nudes, they have so much nudes on their um, site. It's liquidy and it's very soft. Compared to the Lana Lash, this is like so relaxing. But this one's a bit streaky. Or sheer, but as it dries, you can move it and cover those streaks. So it's streaky at the beginning because it's watery, but as it's starting to dry, you're covering the same spots. That's one coat. It looks darker than in the bottle on my lips. It's very odd. It looks like bubble gum. Like I have bubble gum lips. <laughs> um, definitely though. The liner like any other nude unless it's brown. I have to say it was pleasantly nice to take them off. It was so nice to take it off. And that's weird seeing how long it lasts, the blue and the gray up here. Like this is a day old. I slept with it and washed my hands and it's still up there. This one is backlash. And it's a it's a teal. It's beautiful in the bottle. Listen to the... Someone must have got shot or stole something, that's why. There's helicopters. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's streaky, but... I'm gonna layer it, just... In case, but for now, simmer. Okay, it is a bit bright. My god, it's growing on me. <laughs> it is so... Again, on camera, it's highlighted. And I don't like it with this makeup one bit. I'm trying to block out my eyes. But it needs a liner. It definitely needs a liner. Especially on this top part. It's too white. Second coat was really hard to tough take off. I'm um, doing two coats. Look how zombie, zombified my lips are. Okay, heavy artillery. Let's just start from the middle. Du -du 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 -du. Mm. This color. This color's nice. Ooh, I like it. Even with this normal makeup, it looks. I really want to put a second coat. But after taking all that other second coat, I don't think I will. Okay, now. <laughs> now it's Cyclone! Okay. Oh yeah. Look at this blue though. I don't like over applying with the same thing, is because. This kind of formula is like paint as it like like I said as it dries you can go over it with the rest of the wet ones and fill in the blanks. This is a nice formula. On the site it looks like like gray in a way, like a purple, like a light, light pastel purple. Not so pastel, but like a gray purple. And then it turns out On camera it looks royal blue, but in real life it's like... Wait, periwinkle? This is a periwinkle! It really is, it's like purple. 
purple, blue, light blue, but soft. It's not as harsh on the camera. On the camera is like blue, like my shirt, just a little bit lighter. But no, it's more pur it's purple. It's actually purple. Periwinkle. I can see the purple tones in it. It is gorgeous. Oh my god. This is the best blue lipstick I ever wore. Ever. Like the other one no, from Beauty Bakery and then there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. I forget what it was. But this is the best blue I ever... Well, it's not blue. It's like... It's periwinkle. It's, it's more purple, blue, soft, not ashy. It's nowhere near ashy. It's not ashy, but it looks like it's related to the ash um, family. Ash family. Um, the way how it comes. Wow, I don't know what else to say about this. And it's so happy. It's it's not like goth blue, like all the blues you get. It's like goth and like bad girl or something like that. Like you don't care. But this is like. It's so soft. It's confusing. You don't know what to think of this person if they have it on. You don't think of them as like a hardcore person or if they take pictures or if you're taking pictures and it turn out to this color that you're seeing, it's still good to me. It's still it's still pretty as hell. But it's sad that they can't see this periwinkle. Like it's so good. They feed all the monsters. Fairies, dolphins, mermaids, um, witches, all your colors. They don't discriminate. Um, nude people, humans. Like, now I get why they call it makeup monsters because not only there's normal colors that, you know, everyday colors, reds and nudes, a lot of nudes, let me tell you, but they also have like these greens and these blues and grays and so so much options. I love this company. Okay. Alright. I love you. Bye bye.